Taylor Swift performs at the bar where she was discovered. And Justin Bieber is confusing us all on Instagram. And Millie Bobby Brown finally meets Kim Kardashian. All that and more on today's rundown. Well, Taylor Swift surprisingly is defending Hailey Kiyoko after Swifties came for her. Yeah, but first you guys, Kylie Jenner threw an Easter party over the weekend and she shared so many cute Snapchats of little baby Stormy. If you follow Kylie, you know that she only occasionally gives us small glimpses of her baby on social media. So when she took the Snapchat to share not one, not two, but three snaps of baby Stormy yesterday, we were pretty shocked. In the snap, Stormy is being held and kissed by her dad as Kylie watches, proving that despite any rumors that may have surfaced, the three are still one big happy family. In fact, a source recently told Entertainment Tonight that Kylie, quote, has never been so happy. I was also very surprised that she shared anything on Easter because it is one of the baby's, oh my god, it is the baby's first holiday very aside first. from Valentine's Day. Yeah. So it's it's a big one because you know they go on the Easter egg hunt. I mean, Storm is a little young for that probably. But I was surprised she, she shared such a personal moment. I am not. I feel like now that Stormy is here and out of her belly, I think we are starting to see Kylie Jenner share more and more about her intimate, personal life. Um, I think we'll start to see a lot more from Stormy. Really? Yeah, a lot more, of course. Well, speaking of the Jenners and Kardashians, Millie Bobby Brown, her dreams came true in 2018. She has finally met Kim Kardashian. It is no secret that Millie has been a huge fan of the Kardashian family for quite some time now. In multiple interviews, she brought up her love for keeping up the Kardashians and how it is her favorite TV show. And on top of that, when her obsession was revealed, it didn't take long for the Kardashian fam to reciprocate the love. Over the past few months, Millie and the Kardashians have been tweeting each other, and Millie's even received some surprising gifts from Kim and Kylie. And now it's looking like their social media friendship has been taken to the next level. Over the weekend, Kim took to her Instagram story to show off a behind the scenes look of filming keeping up with the Kardashians like she usually does. But this time, there was a familiar face with her. It was Millie and these two definitely seem to be up to something together and we cannot wait to find out what it is. And the best part about this whole interaction though is how both of the celebrities were seriously fangirling over each other. You guys, look who I'm hanging out with on this Good Friday. I mean, who isn't a fan of Millie Bobby Brown? I'm sure, literally, they've been pining over the moment that they could finally meet her. And the Millie, obviously, has been so vocal on, on all the late night shows, talking about her obsession with the Kardashians. So I just, I'm so happy. This, I, What are they working on, though? That's really what I want to know. I know, but if they really are meeting on an episode of Keeping Up, I'm going to lose it. I'm so excited because after watching them communicate for months and seeing them both love each other, we wanted them to meet so we could watch, like on TV. Exactly. So I'm ready for it, I'm here for it. I, I, I wonder if it's just going to be an episode where Kim's like, I have to meet this girl, or if they're actually going to be collabing on a project together of some sort. I think they're collabing. Ooh. Taylor Swift had a super intimate performance at the bar in Nashville where she was discovered. On Saturday night, Taylor surprised the crowd at the legendary Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, sitting down to sing an acoustic set with Craig Wiseman, a singer-songwriter friend of Tay's that she's actually known for years. After receiving a standing ovation for her arrival, surprise, Taylor gave a big nod to the famous cafe, saying, quote, I wanted to say a big thank you to the Bluebird Cafe. I think any songwriter in town would echo my sentiments and say that this is kind of the only place where this exists. This particular place where you get to come and hear the writers take on the songs they've put out into the world. Tay even got candid about one of the first lessons she learned in music, which was that a song only needs three chords and that simplicity can be very powerful. She proved that by launching into her song, Shake It Off. opened up about her Grammy winning song for Little Big Town, Better Man. She explained that it wasn't until recently that she got to experience the joy of writing something and then having it go out into the world from someone else's perspective.
on stories about this performance when Taylor and Craig began reminiscing about the time they hung out in the Fireball Whiskey shot room at his CMT after party. And then Taylor admitted that she and Ed Sheeran stole the giant inflatable Fireball bottle from the party. I love when Taylor does things like this, when she's just super candid with fans and has like an intimate performance. Yeah. We got some fun stories, we got acoustic versions of songs, and also her performing Better Man, which I've been waiting for. I know, same. Um, also that she would take time away from the reputation tour, which she is like deep in rehearsals right now for, to come and do this. Honestly, I bet you this spills her creatively because she is so deep in that whole tour process right now. So maybe this is what she needed to just pick herself back up. Um, but everybody who's anybody in especially country music has performed at this cafe. Um, it's known for being a really special place. And I love that Taylor went back to her roots and stripped it down. I mean, this is this is the Taylor we all started loving when she started. Oh, absolutely. Do you know where I first heard of the Blue Word Cafe? Where? Nashville, the show. Oh, Have that's... you ever watched? Yes, because they perform there. It's like yeah. a huge deal. That's how I knew about it. That's when I was reading the story. I'm like, oh, I know what it is. I'm I watched Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Haley Kyoko said a couple of questionable things about Taylor Swift, and then Swifties came for her. Well, Taylor Swift is actually defending Haley. In a recent interview with Refinery29, Haley opened up about how hard it's been for her to live her truth in the music industry and used Taylor as an example to support her cause. She said, I've had several music industry execs say, you're doing another music video about girls. I literally looked at them and was like, um, yeah, Taylor Swift sings about men in every single song and video, and no one complains that she's unoriginal. I'm not over-sexualizing my music. I make out with women because I love women, not because I'm trying to be sexy. That's not to turn heads, that's my life. So after this comment, Haley received a ton of backlash from Swifties. A lot of fans interpreted her comments as criticizing Taylor, but as soon as Taylor caught wind of this, she just had to comment on the matter with her own two cents. In a Tumblr post, she responded to a fan's post and said, we should applaud artists who are brave enough to tell their honest romantic narrative through their art. And the fact is that I've never encountered homophobia and she has. It's her right to call out anyone who has double standards about gay versus straight love interests. Soon enough after Taylor's response, Haley tweeted a message. She said, love and respect to Taylor Swift and all the brave artists out there sharing their truth with the world. I appreciate you, we keep climbing. So there you have it. Nothing but love and respect between these two artists. I think this is, really special because I don't think Haley was shading Taylor. I think she was just saying, hey, listen, you allow, the industry allows and celebrates Taylor, someone like Taylor, could have been anyone, for singing about this specific narrative. L let me do my narrative. And that she wasn't shading Taylor in any way. And I love that Taylor saw the backlash that mm -hmm. she was getting from Swifties and took it upon herself to stand up and have a voice to support Haley because she didn't have to do that. Oh, she absolutely didn't. And I think because Taylor is a bigger artist than Haley, yeah. it speaks wonders. One, it's going to guide some of her fans to Haley's music, which I really appreciate. And I like that Taylor didn't take any of this personal because it wasn't that at all. Haley mm -hmm. was just trying to say that a very successful artist like Taylor Swift can write so many love songs and that is okay. Like her, whoever is in the music industry and working with Taylor says that's okay. It's going on the radio. So why can't Haley write songs about girls when that's her love story? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's just love songs. Well, we're not sure how you spent Easter this past weekend, but Justin Bieber spent it by confusing us all on Instagram. <laughs> On Easter, Justin took to Instagram to share a screenshot from his note app that said, quote, Jesus has changed my life. Easter is not about a bunny. It's a reminder that my Jesus died on the cross for my sins and then rose from the dead, defeating death. I believe this happened and it changes everything. I am set free from bondage and shame. I am a child of the most high God and he loves me exactly where I am and how I am for who I am. Which felt like a standard pose for a day like Easter, whether you're religious or not, but then, he kind of took it all back. Shortly after he put this up, Justin then posted several selfies wearing bunny sunglasses and then one with a bowl of noodles, which isn't that strange on its own merit, but he did then post a selfie with the caption, remember when I said Easter isn't about bunnies? Well, I lied, which kind of contradicted his whole last statement. So yeah, we're a little confused. I don't know what Justin Bieber was doing this last Easter. It, I don't know if he was just having fun, if he had a hard day. I don't know what happened, but there was a lot going on on his Instagram. Yeah, I 
think that this proves that Justin Bieber doesn't have a theme on Instagram. What? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the whole collage of all the photos. I was like, is he okay? Like, should someone take his Instagram account away? But honestly, yeah. <laughs> Justin is able to do whatever he wants. I think it was more, he probably got backlash from that post and he might have wanted to be like, look how ridiculous like celebrating a bunny is. I don't know, I'm trying to deep dive here and make sense <laughs> of it. I'm not really sure if I'm helping, but you guys might know more than we know. So let us know in the comments, what happened to Justin Bieber? I mean, what was he trying to say? Yeah, what was going on? Why did he post so many selfies that look very the same? You know Almost what like it article? reminds me of? What? It reminds me of like when your dad first gets on Instagram. <laughs> and he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing and like decides to put like, look, I Instagrammed today. And like, yeah. that's what happened. <laughs> My dad would post that on Easter. Just so many selfies of him with bunny glasses, <laughs> like trying different filters. He would so do that. All right, Millie Bobby Brown, Kim Kardashian, what could they possibly be working on? Do you think we're gonna see the reunion on keeping up with the Kardashians or maybe on something else? I wonder, but I also wanna know, after these comments from Haley, were you guys offended when you read them? And what do you think of Taylor's response? Let us know. Yeah, also subscribe if you've made it this far in the video. We would love to have your support here on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button, which I think is down there somewhere. We're, we're gonna Wherever get all it the is, areas. <laughs> hit it, it would mean the world to us. You guys, thanks for watching and we will be back here tomorrow. And then click left for Logan Paul getting slammed by a plus size model. And click right for Taylor Swift facing backlash after her second delicate music video.